So what's going on guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another Zombies video where today I'm going to be showing you how to pack a punch your weapons in Groston House. I think we can safely say the smallest map we have ever had in Zombies. If you come on to enjoy the video today, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel. Hopefully this video helps you out, but without further ado, let's get into it. So as I'm sure you will know, Groston House is a very small and actually quite difficult map in World War II Zombies. Now of course the first thing you will need to do is unlock the Groston House map itself. And the way you do this is by completing the casual easter egg in the final Reich. If you complete that then Groston House will be available as a map separately whereas usually you can only experience it in the prologue. Now I did a video just the other day showing you how to unlock the mystery box in this map but today as I said I'm going to show you how to pack a bunch of your weapons and this is very useful considering it's quite a difficult map there's really nowhere to run so just being able to have the mystery box and then to have those weapons upgraded can make a massive difference for you trying to go high rounds on this map. So as I said, the first thing you're going to want to do is unlock it by completing the casual easter egg. But once you've done that, you then need to open the door that leads to the mystery box. Now I did a separate video on this the other day, but I'll show you again in this video just to make it easier for you guys. And all you need to do is shoot 10 lanterns that are hidden around the map. And once you shoot all 10 of these lanterns, this room will open up, allowing you to access the mystery box. You can see all of the lanterns that I am shooting on screen now. Once you shoot one, you will see a tiny purple glow come from it and also the noise of crows will sound showing you that you've activated that lantern. But once you've done that, you can then move on to the second step, which is to get the jack-in-the-box. Basically, these are the monkey bombs. You need to roll the mystery box. I think it took me like three tries, but eventually you are going to get the jack-in-the-box. And once you have these, what you then need to do is come up to this part of the house upstairs, and you see this little ledge, this little piece of wood that's holding the house up. You have to throw your jack-in-the-box exactly on top of this, where I throw mine right here. So throw your jack-in-the-box on here, it needs to land on here, and then when it blows up, that is the second step done. The third and final step requires you to save up 10,000 points. So just kill zombies until you get those 10,000 points. And once you do that, you then come up to the piano upstairs. Come up to this right here. Hold down X on it. And you will see that the piano then takes those 10,000 points from you. And that is it. You can now simply go up to the mystery box and every weapon that you get from it will be pack a punched and this is really useful actually you may think it's expensive at first but it's really quite cheap because the pack a punch machine costs 5,000 points or should I say jolts but all you need to do in Groston House is spend 10,000 points on this piano and then you can get all of your pack a punched weapons for free so basically you're just paying a thousand points for every pack a punched weapon it's awesome like I said this is really going to help you out if you want to go for high rounds or anything like that and it's that simple so hopefully you've enjoyed the video today if you have a like rating would be very much appreciated. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think it's a cool map? What do you think of the final Reich? Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest summons videos. I forgot to mention, but I believe this was first found by Glitching Queen, so credit to her. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.